so in today's session we are going to discuss about how to read the text file text file nothing but our notepad file right so we'll be having a lot of text files in our okay let me see here see here this is the text file okay this is a text file the file which is opening in notepad okay this is the text file so in today's session we'll be discussing that how to read this text file okay, reading that text file is similar to reading the csv file only small configuration changes will be there so if you are not sure about the csv you can refer the previous video as well so now i'll simply showing you how to automate the csv sorry text So to automate the text file also, we can go to the CSV package only. So if you observe this CSV package, see here CSV or text will be there. Okay. So here also we need to take that text automation as a session name and here I will be choosing the file. So just want to be doing with this uh, description file here. I want to read the data from this particular file. Okay, and contains a header. See, if you feel that your CS text file has the headers, you can go with the contains headers. Sometimes what will be happen is you may get that uh, the data like this. Roll numbers. Like one. Three, four, five. So if you have like this, it will be uh, like a contents header scenario. This is the header. Okay? At that time, you can choose the contents header. But uh, for now, my file doesn't have the contents header. That means the my file doesn't have any header. So that's the reason I'm not uh, choosing this contents header option. Okay? I'm not choosing the select uh, checkbox. I'm not uh, checking this. And then delimited. See, whenever we are discussing about the CSV, I, show, I told you, right? So, what is the delimiter and how can we check the delimiter of that uh, file? So, here also we can open the particular notepad file. And by understanding the structure of the data, we can choose that what is the delimiter there. Okay. So, most of the times, 99% of the times in the text files, the delimiter is the new line. So new line means here, if I open my particular file, so here how can how can I differentiate the data means by using the enter okay that's the delimiter here so most of the times when we are dealing with the text files we can choose the new line as the delimiter in very rare cases we might need to go with the other delimiters based on the data structure okay so for now I'm just going with this UTF page problem so after that what we need to do is simple we need to read it right Taking the date command, let's take it here. Okay. Here also, here. Here also, I'm assigning this data to A. As this is the text file, I'm renaming it as text. Okay. I'm assigning that extracted data to the CS, sorry, table from the text file data type, data table variable. Then what we need to do? Simple. We need to use the loop, right? Just like how we used in the CSV program. Okay. So here we need to go with the data table. I need to choose it here, and here I need to assign to it record variable. Okay. Table row assign to here. Okay. And here I need to print that, right? See, in the all previous scenarios like X. Cell or database or CSV. Every time I went with contains header scenario. Okay. But here I don't have the header, right? So this time I'll be going by index because I haven't chosen 
while opening the text file as it is it doesn't have contents header as it doesn't have contents header i haven't selected the checkbox of the contents header correct so now what i'll do is i'll simply take a message box here i'm going to print that table row record and i need to go by index i am simply going with the zero index doing this let's run it see i told you right new line is the separator let's go, let me open this file once here i gave the enter right that's the reason here we got the new line as a separate let me close let me see the next here is the blank right so that's the reason here also we got the blank line then this thing. after that below automation will come after that blank will come after that it will come one two three four get up again blank like this it will so it has a lot of data so the reason i'm terminating the bot here because i don't want to continue this let me go back here let me stop this so basically in this way we'll be reading the text files by using read csv or text file command this is about reading text files